Doug Johnson with HS Grind here with Tim Wilkerson. Hey, big night for y'all. Y'all set a record of the most points scored. Yeah. You had a sack and a half. I mean, the, the offensive line was pretty stout, but y'all took care of it tonight. Yes, we sure did. Um, we focused really hard this week on not just Maid Creek in this week, but getting better uh, fundamentally so we can get ready for, you know, 16, 16 weeks total and winning the state championship. That's awesome, man. You've had a great season. Got your second start, or your first start in the second game of the season, and, and just came out. And you and Matt Diamond just been tearing it up. What's it like being opposite him? Well, Matt Diamond's a great leader. He helps me all the time. Um, whenever I'm in doubt, Matt's always there for me. He's just really helping me out along the way. I'm just trying to learn from him. That's awesome. Uh, you got a junior this year, so you got a next year to expand on what he's taught you and, and take over his role. Huh? Uh, yes. Um, looking at his teachings and um, him helping me, giving me some good habits and some good uh, some good tips and techniques that hopefully I can expand on so I can um, take his role and try to be a leader next year. Good deal. Has he got you in the weight room all the time? Uh, yeah. <laughs> all right. Well, hey, congratulations all right. on a great Thank night. You. We look forward to seeing more out of you. Thank good you. Good deal. Isaiah Brown, What's up, HS Grind, congratulations. Two picks tonight. What, what were you thinking when they threw the ball the second time to you? Uh, well, I knew I had got beat early in the game off of a bubble go, and I figured they was going to try and come back and throw some trickery at me. So I just decided to just stay on my keys and read the play, and it just came to me. That's awesome. Did you, did you think you were going to get to run the second one in? Uh, I don't know. When I caught it, I, I was still tired from the first one. So I don't know. I tried, though. Hey, it was, it was worth an effort. <laughs> it's worth the effort. Great job returning the balls tonight. Thank you. Great job breaking the record and, and on the pick uh, six and the other interception. Thank uh, you. What are you going to do for Taylor next week? You've got to surprise us with something new. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. Catch some, run somebody down before they get in the end zone? <laughs> we'll see. Whatever happens. <laughs> All right. Good job. Thank man. you. Congratulations. Hey. Doug Johnson, HS Grinder with Kylie Hustle. Hey, congratulations. You're the quarterback of record that won the, broke the record for 70 points in a game. How's that feel? Uh, it's great. I couldn't have done it without my line. They, they, just, did. they did a great job for you. They tonight. did an outstanding job. How did it feel? Y'all came out a little bit, what well, looked like slow, but was probably trying some new things, doing some new things on the offensive side. I mean, uh, it was tough, but we just tried to pass a lot because we wanted to work on some things, so we tried to get a lot of passes in. So that's why we were a little slow, but we, we'll get it together. Hey, nobody on our side was worried. We all knew that y'all were going to pull it together and work it out. But did, did you ever think after not scoring in the first quarter that y'all would get 70 in the game? I didn't, but, you know, Things happen and you pull it together. The coaches made some changes and we pulled it together and we we just broke the record. I feel great. It's and good your defense time. really stood up for you tonight. Yes, they? yes. They're hoping to get their first shutout, but it's fine. Hey, that's fine. Oh, hey. They got under 100 yards, so that was good. That's it. All right, man. Congratulations on a win and a big win, and we'll see you next yes, week sir. at homecoming. Yes, and setting a record, your own, you know, Katie High School record of most points scored. Was the intention to come out like that, throwing new new things a little slow? Just, yeah, we, we wanted to work on some, some throwing the ball and things. And, you know, they, they came out in a little bit different front against us. And, and uh, of course, getting stopped on fourth down wasn't by design. But, you know, they did a good job. And, and then, then the second time we had an opportunity to kick a field goal, I thought it would be good for our kid to sit there and, and, and have a shot at kicking a field goal. But, you know, it, things started settling down. And, and, you know, we moved the football and got a good drive and made some plays. and. You know, that's what you want to do. And, you know, we got control of the game. And I'm real proud of the way we played, you know, pretty much the whole game defensively. Defense pretty much controlled the night and it got you back in the game. Well, they did. And then, you know, we really out, weren't out of the game. They, 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 they were controlling the game. And, you know, uh, we, you know, our defensive front is, is, is pretty good. And like I was telling the guy, they, they compliment our secondary and our secondary compliments our front. You know, it helps the kids to get pressure on the quarterback, and it helps that we can cover some people back there. Uh, we we got impatient first half on, on some things coverage-wise, and Isaiah, you know, bounced back and made some plays. And as long as we can continue doing that, we'll have a chance. What, going into a, a Taylor team for homecoming that hasn't even played very well, how, how do you how do you get pumped up for a game like that? Well, they played well last what that on Thursday night against Seven Lakes. And they they played their butt off, and they they played really inspired and. And their quarterback is a, is a good football player, and we haven't seen one that throws the ball around as much as what they do and what they're going to do. And and it'll be a good challenge for us defensively and offensively. You know they're going to give us a lot of different fronts and a lot of different coverages. And 
you know, and they gave us a different front tonight, and it really took us a while to respond, and we're going to have to do a good job of responding to what they're doing. So it, it is a big challenge. You know, the biggest challenge for us, like we talked to our kids, is making sure we improve, you know, and, and we have to continue ascending, and we can't sit on and plateau. And, and we've got to continue, you know, making sure that we're getting better in all phases of our game. Good deal. you got to mention Ricky Bickham's. He's got, he's got some amazing yardage in the fourth quarter for you. Yeah. Talk about the kid. Yeah, you know, like I said, we've got some good running backs. We've talked about that before. And you know, I'm thankful he gets the opportunity to go in and play. And, uh, you know, Ricky has really, really stepped up, you know, his game and things. And, and I'm thankful for that because, you know, it's great to get all our kids an opportunity to play. You know, they come out and practice and work hard every day. And you try to reward them by getting them in the game. And, and Ricky, no doubt, deserves to be rewarded, you know, just as all our seniors do. And, and that's a great thing when you can get them in the game like that. All right. Good job. Congratulations. We'll see you next weekend. Okay.